Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are finally getting to do the port area. So this video, uh, I've already started it a little bit there, so I didn't want to show you guys how I actually built that because I feel like doing how I made that design right there is very self-explanatory. I just used the sea walls and used the road guidelines to map out the straight lines. So this video is basically me discussing some ideas on, a f on how I like to build a port area. So just go along with me the video is not too long so it's nice and quick and hopefully you guys can get something good um, originally I was gonna do a road but you can see I deleted it moved it back over to here so you definitely do need some really good highway access um, so you don't want to have just one road going in because it, can you imagine all of the traffic coming in uh, in the area you're gonna have the ships coming in you're going to have the train cargo trains you're going to have factories you're gonna have a lot going on so you need good road access uh, so originally I put the train station over here uh, but I moved it because I then realized that the train line should not cross over a main road um, and then the train line there would also create a, a bit of a yucky curve um, meanwhile crossing that road so that was really just not a good idea you can see I tried it there it didn't work um, and, and originally I put in the cargo uh, ship station with the train line but again it just didn't it just didn't fit in with the train line so I moved it over to here and I put it back a little bit from the road so all of the traffic coming in they don't have to wait on the main road um, because that's just a really big no-no you don't want to back up you don't want to congest that main road so I put the that road back one uh, which you guys will see more of in a minute and I disguise it in with some buildings as well which is pretty cool um, so that big building that I put in is a train hub a cargo train hub and I actually extend it out behind at the end of the video uh, to make it actual an actual uh, train yard which looks pretty cool and I've never done something like that um, so two uh, cargo stations one that building there that you can see um, next to all of the cargo buildings that is actually for the ferries as the ferry depot so in the future if I do want to build a ferry line I have that there just ready to go um, so you can download those cargo assets you can download those car lot assets which I think you will see a lot of the time in a cargo port type area um, and it's not it's not very big I'll admit that it's not big but I didn't want it to be big I didn't want to do a huge industrial area I didn't want it to be super compact um, because I, I always say to you guys it's not a good idea to do one huge industrial area unless you're really familiar with making the game work good um, so breaking up the industrial areas into smaller little areas really just helps distribute everything around your city a lot easier so this area it has some industrial um, buildings like factories and some office office spaces but not too many so I really just didn't want to congest it up so this area it's really purely for the train cargo and also the ship cargo and so most of the trucks coming in here are related to those two facilities the train and the cargo ship uh, and I didn't want to mix it up too much with generic industrial traffic right um, so that road going up right there that goes directly to the highway and although it is quite steep I feel like in real life you wouldn't make it that steep you'd have to do it a lot more a lot more longer gradient going up so it would take a long time but um, for the game it's okay for how it is um, and they'll, they'll honestly zoom up there the trucks they wouldn't even care um, so the train goes underneath the main road so again not making the trains interact with the main roads and the train line it just goes over you you'll see where it connects up uh, does just does an easy connection but it, it does look a little bit wobbly in the video but I fix that up off camera to make it look exactly right um, so there's other two smaller little, um, I don't, what, do you, what do you call it, like, um, I don't even know what you call it, those, this right here. What do you call that? I, I forget. But um, this is just for ships to dock, so I put in a couple of bigger ships. And then on top I put in some older style uh, industrial buildings, you can see one right there. And I put in some more on the other one as well. And towards the end of the whole port area, I add in just some normal office buildings because I think it's really good to have them close by because they're going to need it right they work together and then next to the office buildings I actually throw in a couple residential buildings and you might be thinking well why are you putting residential in all the way over here well the reason being is that right now we don't have any people over here it's a long way for them to 
commute so I just put in a few houses there uh, just so they can easily walk up there and, and a lot of those people will probably work in this area and at the end of the video I noticed a lot of them were a lot of the buildings here were saying that they don't have enough people but um, so yeah putting those residential buildings in did kind of help it a little bit So it's probably worth having a ferry terminal over here to get the people, the workers over to here really, really easily. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you don't make them cross the path of the big ship. And now I made that mistake in St. Petersburg, like I'm always learning uh, different things, but definitely do not cross your ship paths because it, I said ship, not shit, <laughs> not the other word, because if you cross them. It's, it's just a nightmare because it's all, all of these cargo ships coming in and you know how many ships that this game creates. It is a huge mess. There's so many ships coming in. Um, so having your little your little ferry going across is a little bit scary for them. So try not to cross them. Um, so I can definitely expand that and put in a ferry if I need to. But um, the harbour area for this whole era, area, it's not too big. Um, and I could probably get away with not doing it. So this is just where the train is going to connect and I made sure that there's a train connection going either way and I also add in some uh, lane connections if that if that's what you call it, um, the little track between each bits of lane so they can easily just transfer to different lanes. Um, and then also thank you to, to you guys who said that oh you can actually ban cargo trains on certain lines. I didn't know that, I, I really didn't know that. So I went through and I banned the cargo trains going through uh, the passenger stations which was really helpful so thank you guys for that um and then so of course a bridge needs to go under uh, not a bridge a tunnel needs to go under here and this whole area around here i think i should build it out just a little bit in in the near future because we do have a lot of people who need to work in the new area that we built today so instead of making them commute all the way from the other end of the map i should just build out this little bit of an area just a little bit more um and then those those train lines they look a little bit ooh, right so I'll fix them up off camera. So, we're getting towards the end of the video. Um, honestly, I, I thought this was a pretty good build and I love all of the historical buildings. I put in a um, incineration plant over there. I kind of blend it in. I also put in a little, um, what's it called? Some kind of power. It, I don't know which one it is. I'll show you guys at the end of the video. But yeah, I put in those. I, I tried to blend it all in and I just love how it blends in with this side of the mountain. Um, and I tried not to make the side of the mountain really straight and ma I made it so it's more natural looking which to me looks pretty cool so um, this is the office buildings right here so you can see they're a bit nicer they're gonna have some some planters some trees down there um, and also something that I don't show on camera I don't know why I didn't do it on camera but there's three main intersections in this on that main road and I actually do time traffic lights for all of for all three and I make them all the same ones so hopefully I remember at the end of the video to show you guys how that works so hopefully but um, yeah I thought it was just really helpful to make sure that the time traffic lights will actually be working fine without me always having to come over and check so it's just like a peace of mind type thing um, so yeah this is this is pretty much the end of the video and I will give you guys a final recap now Okay guys, so this is the end product and if you're wondering why the the image is a little bit brownish It's because it's five o'clock in the game So the Sun is going down and I thought it would make it look a little bit nice with a potential sunset coming in very soon So let's have a look what is the all of the other little features that I didn't show you guys. So the first one obviously is the train yard. Uh, the reason why I actually did the train yard is because uh, if you guys have been watching my videos you'll notice that there's been some really long cargo trains. When they summon, because this is the depot, they actually summon all the way out to here. And before I built this whole train yard um, the trains were actually hanging out over the water and I thought oh that doesn't look good so I had to extend out the whole thing make a train yard I put in some train assets which looks pretty cool uh, made it look a little bit overgrown so 
I don't know, is that realistic? I guess it is. Put in some trains. Well, these are, these aren't real trains. They're just um, props. And yeah, so that's that. That looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, I just extended that straight out, and honestly, I think it fits in quite well. Originally, I was going to do an area like this, but uh, I deleted it, but then realized I should bring it back again. Uh, let's have a look into the main area. So you'll notice there's some really low cranes, but I feel like it's kind of the right height if they're trying to get stuff out of these tankers, but uh, I don't know how to make that higher. I think I just need to enable a mod. Uh, I know which one it is, I think, to build it up. Um, so we have a big car yard here. We have some, this is actually just the water tanks, the in-game water tanks. Uh, we have the little guys here who, uh, can, who can unload stuff, and we have a little yard there, a lot of, lot of, lot of cargo. Um, not much traffic up in here right now, which is pretty good. Originally, I thought, well, if the traffic is really bad, I can make it all one way, uh, all the way around here like this. So then the traffic is just flowing a lot more easier. Um, come over here. This is the ferry depot, like I mentioned. Uh, some factories, factories, factories. And don't you just love how the roads go straight under there like that? I think that's pretty cool. Um, we come over here. And I just love how this building is like that. It just, I feel like it's the perfect building for this whole area. It fits in well enough. I just like it, it just, look, just looks good. Um, these are actual functioning factories again. So are these, um, so are these as well. So this is the, the cargo. And then we come over here. This is the, the, uh, the incineration plant. And then I mushed in the power plant. So this is the, the natural gas combustion turbine. So I mushed that in just because the whole area is quite far away from um, the other city. So I didn't want to run a huge long power line across the city, which I just I just didn't want to do that. So that's that. Uh, we got the Euro. What's this? Euro gas, and then we have this one here, which is Euro oil. So that's good. Um, I realized that I could just add in some more assets to make it look more realistic, but I don't want to. And then. So we have the, uh, the office spaces over here, and then this is just a little residential area with some shops at the front. So for this whole area, if you want to look at the statistics, 500 people live down in here, which is quite a lot. That's a really high capacity, right? It's it's a lot. Um, so there's over 2,000 jobs in this area. And just for comparison, how many jobs are in the downtown area? 2,800. Not, not much difference. Not much difference. So... Um, 545, 2,053 jobs, almost full, so that's good, there's some tourists apparently, um, and we have some commercial which is good, so if they want to buy something, and, uh, but mostly, it should be mostly these two, but I don't know why this is saying it's so high, but, um, so this is, this is their main, uh, entrance to the highway, hopefully it's not too steep. I just added in a little, if we go down here a little bit, I added in a little fence so if the truck hits it they can, they can bash straight through it and go off the cliff all in a dramatic way. Um, come back down here, uh, oh there's some sound, but come back down here, so we have, now I mentioned about time traffic light, so we have this intersection here, this one, and this one, these are the main ones. So if we go in, I feel like it's not on right now. But um, just so you know, I made this one can only turn left, I think. So it made it a, lo a lot more easier. Um, this one, we don't need an intersection because they're just going in. But this one, because they're coming back out, we do. So if I show you guys, if we go into here, I made all three do the same thing. So they work together. So if we go stop, and I'll show you guys from the beginning. So let's start. Start. So this one gets a green light. So any traffic going in has the right of way to go first. And then whilst they're going, so everyone who wants to turn, they can turn quickly. But then whilst it's also green, then suddenly these guys are able to go as well. Um, and then whilst this guy is green, so try to follow, this one goes back to red, which then allows any traffic of trying to turn this way to be able to turn that way. Um, so then that just allows both of them to turn whichever way they want. And then the next one is just to allow this one go straight out. Um, there's a little bit of mixing in there, but that, I mean, that's okay. Um, I, th I thought at first, should I add in more lanes here? Because there's a lot of different ways that they want to go, but honestly, it's okay. So, um, they it it works quite fine. And I know you guys are going to suggest, well, why don't you do this, 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 this? But this is just how, how it just works out. So, all three do the exact same thing. So, when there's a green light here, they can all go straight through. Uh, hopefully, they can make it to the end in time. 
Um, but yeah, it's all the same, just to keep it simple. And let's close that, and it, it works quite fine, it's quite efficient. Um, and I was also thinking, in the future, is this road going to be really busy? So in the future, I may have to ban trucks from this road, or potentially direct trucks over up here instead of going through the future residential area that will be in here. So that's something that I need to consider. Uh, also, I didn't put in pub any public transport because we are so far away from everything, so I didn't want to do that yet. I didn't want to do one huge like bus line from here all the way over to there. I didn't want to do that yet. So they have to drive or they have to live in this little housing estate in here. Um, and they have a good view. So that's not, that's not too bad, but yeah. And that's why I put... Um, I put the commercial along the front because there's so much traffic going along. There's a big fence there so the kids can't run out into the highway. And um, I think that's about it. And this intersection doesn't worry them by the way. So I think I think that's basically everything I wanted to cover. Um, there is a police station. I put it somewhere. It's a really small one. Police station. Blah, 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 where is it? This is the fire station over here. Um, yeah, but it's, it's in there somewhere. So we have basically everything. And uh, look at that train go. Look how long it is. It's so cool. I love it, it's so cool. Uh, they come over here and I didn't fix this yet, but oh, it's really wobbly. But anyway, that is how I like to design a port. So hopefully you guys may have got something from this. I, I think it's a pretty good build. And even though it is quite small, and even though it does look really out of place right now, I think it's gonna look pretty cool once we build the whole areas. And I, I was thinking like, should I put a lighthouse here or something? Or should I put a, light, a lighthouse in the corner? Um, I don't really have one that fits in very well. I do have one big red one, which may be a little bit too big. Um, I tried it in here, it didn't really fit. So anyway, that is all for this video. Um, also, also sometimes the cargo ships are like this one or this one, which is pretty cool. So get a bit of variety. Oh yeah, like this one here. Look at that. And I made sure that they don't run into the train yard here. I definitely made sure of that. But I noticed it's going into there, so ooh. Another train going. So anyway, yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you guys got something from this and enjoyed it. So don't forget to leave a suggestion what I should do next. And I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. Bye, guys.